Hello, my name is Gent Paparisto, and I'm the product manager for VSS at the AWR Group at uh, National Instruments. And today I'll uh, describe briefly uh, our, uh, some of the new capabilities of VSS in version 14. One of the new things that we're introducing is the phased array generator wizard, and uh, it really helps customers uh, set up phased arrays and uh, change different uh, options in the phased array, perform the various trade-offs and look at the response of the phased array. And then when they are ready, they can generate full designs into VSS or microwave office and then can continue their analysis or they can make them part of, uh, of a larger system. So here we have a, a phased array wizard. We have a, an example. It's, uh, we can select the geometry of the array. In this case, we have a 4x4 four four phased array. We can change things pretty easily. We can make it, let's say, 4x6 uh, and see the response. We can have circular phased arrays with multiple concentric circles, or we can have custom phased arrays. And uh, as I mentioned, it's pretty simple to, to change things. We can have a rectangular uh, or a triangular lattice and so on. Uh, we could select the, the feed network. We can have this operate as a phased array or uh, operate in MIMA mode. Uh, we can group elements uh, automatically so that we, uh, you can uh, assign different uh, uh, characteristics to inner elements or edge elements or corner elements. And uh, why is that used? Because the next would be defining the type of antenna elements uh, you want to use for each um, each element in the phased array or uh, for each group in this uh, in this phased array. And we can define um, uh, different characteristics of the antenna or we can just select radiation uh, patterns from, uh, from, uh, me from measurements or, or other uh, or EM simulations. Furthermore, we can uh, define different RF links for, for the phased array and we can uh, uh, either use the same type of RF link for all the elements or we can use um, uh, different um, RF links for, for different elements in the phased array. Next, we can select different types of gain tapers. We, we have uh, 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 some standard ones like Dolph Chebyshev, Taylor, or, or uniform tapers, and, um, and the also the, the option of, of using custom tapers. And finally, we can play with the failures in the in the phased array we can look at specific we can select specific elements in the phased array and and see the effect of failures uh, of specific phased arrays and and see their uh, the the uh, radiation pattern of the full array when there are failures and once we are ready we can click generate and we have uh, several options here we can generate full system diagrams we can generate uh, a phased array F configuration file, or we can generate a full schematic layout and a um, and uh, um, uh, and EM uh, layout of the phased array. So once it's done, we can uh, I'll show you some pre-configured um, designs. So here's what we have with a with a um, phased array uh, with a system diagrams. So in this case, we we are generating. A, a phased array in the transmit mode. You can see that um, we can here's the uh, all the splitters all the way to uh, a two by one uh, splitter, so that you can now go on and define your own device. You can you can see that we now have uh, full um, RF links and antenna elements all configured, and and finally this this signal um, it is calculated at far field, and here you can see the the, the same response of the phased array and. And this uh, this also generated a test bench for for this phased array. And in this case, you can um, use this design as part of another a larger system, communication system or a radar system, or you can continue with uh, more detailed um, um, measurements in in VSS. You can start performing uh, you know things like G over T or or or, or other measurements. Uh, next, we could uh, the other thing I'm going to show you is the uh, the schematic and, and the EM layout that is, is generated. It looks very similar, uh, the, but this is now a circuit schematic. What this does is allows you to start measuring things like active impedance and uh, as function of a scan angle, and also allows you to perform more 
um, detailed measurements like in situ measurements and you can see here this is now the same phased array simulated uh, in our EM tool and you can see a very similar uh, pattern but there are differences due to, due to things like mutual coupling and so on. So this was a really brief introduction of the phased array generator. If you have any questions, please f uh, feel free to contact us with, um, with them and we'll make sure that we address them. Thank you.